Okay, here we go. Three o'clock, zero. I'm sleeping, but I feel like my time got stolen, so it's best that I. Number three, a two-dimensional net of a certain three-dimensional figure includes five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. Which of the following three-dimensional figures is represented by the net? Alright, so what you should do is just understand that there are two things going here. We got 3D figures, but we also have 2D nets. And 2D nets are a 3D figure that is open up. Imagine you had a box, right? If you have a box, you have a, you could break the box down to where it's just laid out flat. Where this will be the bottom of the box, and around the box are its sides. And this little piece will be the top to cover the box up. That's what a net is. Okay, so you have to have an understanding here of what a triangular pyramid is. Triangular prism and uh, uh, rectangular pyramid and rectangular prism are. A triangular pyramid looks like this, where you have a triangle as a base because it says triangular as a pyramid, and then triangles on its sides that lead up to a point. It'll look like this in 3D, or something like that in 3D, but uh, as a net, it'll look like uh, this right here. And you can see here that there are um, four faces. One, two, three, four. Where base is considered a face here. So because it has four faces, it's not an answer choice that we want. Okay? So let's look at answer choice uh, two. A, a, a triangular prism. Triangular prism has two bases to an extent. And then a rectangular rectangle faces that lead from one base to the other okay so this as a net will look like that right there and let's give it a, some side thingies not drawn to scale where this is one face two faces three faces four faces and five faces okay uh, we could go to edges and vertices in a moment but I'm gonna keep this net on the side here because triangular prism could be what we're looking for Yo, we gotta get it together. Success okay now we have a rectangular pyramid the rectangular pyramid has a rectangular base and then it connects at the top as a pyramid okay as a net it looks like this where the base is rectangular and it has triangle faces along the sides that uh, all uh, fold up to make a pyramid. This has one, two, three, four, five faces as well. So I'm going to hold on to that idea too. Uh, let's look at a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism has a rectangle or square as a base and then leads on to connect and makes a shape like that, like just a regular bar or something. So to draw that as a net, it'll look like this, kind of like the box we had before, but it has six faces if we count all of them out. Okay, so it has six faces, so we don't need that. And why do you keep asking? Why do you? Why do I keep talking about faces? Because it says it right here. It has five faces. Whatever we're looking for has five faces. So that's why I keep talking about five faces, okay? So we have either answer choice two or answer choice three that we can work with. Because they both have five faces. So the next thing we can do to read it out is look at either the edges or the six vertices. The vertices are what I like going with the most, but edges are cool too. Vertices are the points on a three-dimensional uh, graph or uh, figure, right? So there's a point right here, two, three, four, and when all these fold up, it'll connect on a fifth point as well. You can see this on a uh, on a rectangular pyramid. If you draw it out, these vertices are here. One vertex here, two, three, four, five. So that has five vertices. It says five right there. Uh, so, so we need six. 
So that automatically weeds out the rectangular uh, pyramid. Now looking at the prism, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if you want to see that as a uh, three-dimensional figure, this is what it looks like where you have a ver vertex here, two, three, four, five, and six. They're the sharp parts or the the points on these uh, 3D fig figures. So that has six vertices, so that's why we're going to go with answer choice two as our answer.